Hello and welcome to Doc Sloan's A to Z of the shape of things to come on our science fiction station. Just for a bit of fun, and to begin at the beginning, A is for Aaron A. Aardvark. And if you're not sure who he is, shame on you. Go look him up on Google. A is for a boy and his dog. We have an episode coming up very soon on this very famous and controversial set of stories featuring Vic and Blood and Spike. A is also for a canticle for Leibowitz. Walter M. Miller Jr.'s superb science fiction classic, and a book which in my opinion has one of the finest sucker punches at the end that you'll ever read. A is also for Anthony Burgess's A Clockwork Orange. We're going to take a look at both the novel and the film side by side. A is also for Isaac Asimov, one of science fiction's grandmasters, creator of the Foundation series and prolific writer of the robot stories. A is for Margaret Atwood, creator of The Handmaid's Tale. A is for audiobooks, and we're very pleased to have produced our first audiobook here on the station of Philip K. Dick's Beyond Lies the Wub. We're hoping to bring you more content of public domain science fiction, read by me. B is for Ian M. Banks, and under B we're going to take a look at his non-culture science fiction stories. B is for Alfred Bester, author of the book that is arguably considered to be the second best science fiction book of all time, Tiger Tiger, also known as The Star's My Destination. We're going to take a look at this author and two of his books in particular, Tiger Tiger and The Demolished Man, an excellent whodunit where you know who did it and essentially one of the finest perfect murder novels that you'll ever read. B is for Michael Murcock's Behold the Man. We're going to take an episode just to look at this one very interesting time travel story. B is for B-movies and the absolute joy that a good bad film brings. B is for hugely influential American science fiction writer Octavia Butler. C is for Arthur C. Clarke, one of the big four. C is for science fiction comics, and we'll take a look at this medium of science fiction and how it's changed over the years. C is for Carl Sagan's Cosmos, and C is also for Ian M. Banks's The Culture. We're going to take a reasonably detailed look at the Culture series and do episodes on individual books. D is for Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and its author, Philip K. Dick. D is also for Definitions of Science Fiction. What is science fiction? That's coming up soon. D is for science fiction drugs, and we're going to take an episode to look at some of the most famous and bizarre narcotics that have turned up in the genre. Such drugs include Chew Z, Candy, Substance D or Substance Death, Fluid Karma, Melange, and Vril. D is for Frank Herbert's Dune series, and check out what we have here on the station, but we'll hope to provide you with some more content at some point soon. D is also for science fiction dogs. No, we're serious. E is for evolution in science fiction, and also E is for Ian M. Banks' culture novel, Accession. If you're a fan of the culture, and in particular the culture ships, this is the book for you. F is for Philip Jose Farmer and his Riverworld series. F is also for the Australian TV series produced by the Jim Henson company, Farscape. F is for feminism in science fiction. We're going to have a look at some of the classic feminist science fiction stories, such as Herland, The Female Man, and The Left Hand of Darkness. F is for fin de siècle fiction, or the end of the cycle. That period from the mid-1800s onwards, up until the beginning of World War I in 1914. This period in time produces a range of fantastic works and authors, such as Jules Verne, H.G. Wells, H. Ryder Haggard, Mark Twain, Jack London, H.P. Lovecraft, and Edgar Allan Poe, to name but a few. F is for Daniel Keyes' Flowers for Algernon, a fantastic science fiction novel made into the excellent Oscar-winning movie, Charlie. F is for science fiction food, whether you've got the hunger for the wub, or just fancy a small snack of Soylent Green, we're going to have a look at some of science fiction's more bizarre foodstuffs. G is for Philip K. Dick's Galactic Pot Healer. What kind of pot is he healing, I hear you ask? Hmm, we're going to look at this bizarre book. H is for Joe Haldeman's Forever War, military science fiction that reflects heavily upon the author's own experiences in the Vietnam War. H is for Robert A. Heinlein. We're going to take a good look at this author and hope that we grok him in fullness. H is also for Frank Herbert, another member of the Big Four. 
H's for Dan Simmons' Hyperion Cantos. We look forward to revisiting these epic literary science fiction masterpieces. H is for Arkady and Boris Strugatsky's Hard to Be a God. We're going to take a look at this fantastic piece of Russian science fiction and the Alexei German 2013 film of the same name, which simply has to be seen to be believed. H is for Hardware, Richard Stanley's movie, and Shock, the 2008 e story that it's based on. I is for Richard Matheson's I Am Legend and the various attempts to bring this fantastic science fiction horror story to the screen. J is for my other dad, Judge Dredd, 2080's futuristic fascist policeman, who is judge, jury and executioner. K is for Kindred by Octavia Butler. We'd like to take an episode to look at this book. L is for Ursula K. Le Guin, Stanislav Lem and Anne Leckie. M is for Michael Murcock, science fiction and fantasy author and editor of New Wave magazine New Worlds. M is for science fiction movies. We're going to take a look at some of our favourites and hopefully some of the more way out there ones. M is for mythology and its important relationship to science fiction. We're going to be taking a look at that. M is also for science fiction monsters and mythopoeia, the art of world building. N is for the new wave of science fiction and their spiritual home, New Worlds magazine. N is also for William Gibson's seminal cyberpunk novel, Neuromancer. O is for Orwell, and we're going to take a look in particular at Animal Farm in 1984. P is for Pierre Boulle's Planet of the Apes. P is also for plays and poems, such as Rostrum's Universal Robots, and All Watched Over by Machines of Love and Grace. Q is for Quatermass, Nigel Keneally's dark science fiction masterpiece. R is for Alistair Reynolds and his Revelation Space Universe, one of science fiction's modern big name writers. R is for Roadside Picnic, Arkady and Boris Strugatsky's science fiction masterpiece. Again we're going to take a look at this book in tandem with its film adaptation, Stalker, by Andrei Tarkovsky. S is for Carl Sagan, scientist and science fiction writer. S is also for Mary Shelley, creator of Frankenstein and also author of The Last Man, an important figure in science fiction. S is for Arkady and Boris Strugatsky, the fabulous Strugatsky brothers, possibly Russia's finest export in my opinion. And we're going to take a look at these two incredible authors and their wonderfully intelligent, weird, strange, bizarre, quirky and funny science fiction. If you haven't read any Strugatsky Brothers, you should begin right away. S is for Olaf Stapleton and his two incredible works, Last and First Men and Star Maker. No one writes science fiction like Olaf Stapleton. We'll also take a look at Stapleton's Sirius, which is kind of a Frankenstein for dogs. S is for short stories, the myriad and wealth of wonder that is the science fiction short story. A medium of science fiction that flourished under the golden age of science fiction, particularly in the American magazines. S is for one of science fiction's greatest heroes, the stainless steel rat. And S is for sex in science fiction in all its strange shapes and forms. Mm. T is for Tan Staffel, in case you didn't know, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. T is for James Tiptree Jr., also known as Alice Bradley Sheldon. T is for Trigon and TV shows and to know where your tile is. T is also for the Alan Moore's The Ballad of Halo Jones, a fantastic trilogy of comic book science fiction originally published in 2000 AD. T is also for science fiction's great comic piece of philosophy, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in all its wonderful forms. U is for Philip K. Dick's Ubik a masterpiece of science fiction and we're going to spend an entire episode looking at this one book. U is for utopias in all their shapes and forms and U is also for Ian M. Banks's use of weapons. V is for Voltaire and Verne. V is also for Kurt Vonnegut and a very important book Slaughterhouse-Five. V is also for Vert. W is for Gene Wolfe and his Book of the New Sun series. W is for James White and W is also, what was it? Oh yes, we can remember it for you wholesale. 
We're also going to take a look at this short story in tandem with its adaptations. X is for Xenomorph, all things alien. Y is for your ideas, and we'd love to hear them. Let us know. You can email us at sciencefictionstation at gmail.com. Z finally is for Yevgeny Zamyatin and his novel We. Z is also for Roger Zelazny. Z is for Zenith, Britain's narcissistic 80s pop star superhero caught up in a very strange Lovecraftian universe. Z is for Zapgun and for Zardoz. Z is for Zachary Z Zizz. Within the number categories, by the way, we'd also just quite like to take a look at some things science fiction y, such as 2000 AD, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and 2010 Odyssey 2, 1984 by George Orwell, and of course Anthony Burgess's response to 1984, 1985. Well, this is hopefully giving you an idea of what we've got coming up over the next year. We're going to be busy. Hi everyone, I'm Doc Sloan, and I'd like to thank you for watching my science fiction station. We'd love to hear your comments and feedback on our videos. If you enjoy the content, please give it a like, and if you're a bit of a fan of science fiction, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and spread the word. Thanks very much. Bye bye.